Dallas Fire Rescue uses the Exergen Temporal Artery Thermometer for primary assessment of patient's temperature in the pre-hospital setting. The temporal thermometer measures the blood temperature in the temporal artery. This is one of the most advantageous locations for measuring blood temperature for several reasons. Arteries provide the best representation of body temperature, and the temporal artery is located just a short distance from the heart. It is readily accessible lying only a millimeter under the skin of the forehead. It is also highly perfused with minimal vasomotor activity, ensuring a steady flow of blood. Obtaining a temperature with the Exergen Temporal Thermometer is incredibly easy and user-friendly. Simply follow these steps. Place a probe on the center of the forehead. Depress the red button and ensure that you keep the button depressed for the entire measurement. Maintaining contact with the skin, slowly slide the probe across the forehead into the hairline. Keeping the button depressed, then place the probe on the neck behind the ear. Release the button and read the temperature. Now you may be curious why you would measure both the forehead and behind the ear. If the patient is diaphoretic, the moisture on the forehead will cause an evaporative cooling effect, resulting in a measurement that is actually somewhat lower than the patient's actual temperature. However, the patient who is diaphoretic is also in a highly perfused state. This means that the arteries are dilated behind the earlobe. To account for the heat loss on the forehead, we also measure behind the ear. That being said, we do not measure exclusively behind the ear because the temperature is too variable when vasodilation is not present. Let's review those steps. Place the probe on the center of the forehead. Press the red button. Slide the probe across the forehead to the hairline. And keeping the button depressed, move the probe from the hairline to the neck behind the ear. Release the button and read the temperature. To clean the thermometer if needed, simply wipe it down with a clean cloth that has been sprayed with a DFR-approved disinfectant. The probe should be wiped down with an alcohol wipe after each use, paying special attention to the sensor itself to ensure that it is clean and free of residue. To change the batteries, simply remove the screw in the back of the thermometer and replace the 9-volt battery. Replacement batteries can be ordered during your routine EMS supply order. Thank you for your time, and remember, be safe, be smart, and never stop learning.